hello guys welcome to this channel in today's tutorial uh, um, we are going to begin our decorator a series on decorators okay so if you don't know what, if you, what a decorator is, is in python uh, this is what we'll be covering in this series so let me just go ahead and actually uh, introduce you to a, what a decorator is so a decorator is basically a call any callable objects in python that takes in a callable as an input and returns a callable as an output basically think of it like a function that takes in a function as an input and returns a function as an output okay that's what basically a decorator is so you, you might be asking yourself uh, why do i need to know decorators why should i learn decorators why should i watch this series and learn decorators so decorators are very very important to know uh, they, they can be uh, useful uh, many things number one uh, the first one is that they can be used to modify uh, existing functions uh, adding modifications or uh, extending the behavior of existing functions without actually adding uh, any lines of code to that specific function so what the uh, decorator can do is that it can be used to perform certain actions before or after calling a certain function okay uh, that's the first way, way you, uh, reason why you need to know uh, decorators in python the second reason might be uh, most of us we use uh, third-party libraries in python like django flask all of these applications are uh, third-party libraries uh and frameworks use decorators so most of us don't really know what happens in the background when using decorators okay so if you have ever worked with flask uh, we use the route up dot route if you ever work with django we have a login required in other decorators like that so this is a uh, in uh, this tutorial series will help you to understand what decorators do and why uh, what happens in the background when you use those specific decorators okay so in here i have a simple program that uses it uh, implements a decorator so i'll just execute it if you're not familiar with decorators you might not know what the output will be but we simply have um, two functions the first one is a register function that takes in the user uh, username and the email and then stores it in the database and then you can see we have uh, this uh, we are thinking this is actually the decorator you can see there's the add, uh, add symbol and then it has the name of this specific function okay so if you don't know what this is uh, uh, don't worry about this what to be covering for this what this uh, tutorial series is for okay so uh, let me just run this right now you might not understand but don't worry this is what uh, we are going to you do uh, cover in this series okay so uh, what this does is that uh, after we call this function what you also want to do is actually also create a profile of that specific user okay so after uh, after calling this function uh you want to create a profile of that specific user okay so you can see down here i'm only calling the registration file but if i run this code i also have a profile uh user profile within my database so the, our database is just simply a simple txt file okay so let me just run that and then i show you uh, what we get so i'll type in my name here then i also type in my email okay uh, gmail.com and now hit enter so now if we come back here we can see we have a, a registration info and the profile info okay but notice that we only call the registration uh, function down here uh, but we, and the registration function is work is only to save the username and his email which it does here right but you can see we also have uh, this extra line for the user profile okay so uh, uh, decorators are usually uh, used to do if you don't understand this uh, it's just an intro don't worry about that so let's continue uh, one thing we need to know before going into decorators is we need to understand our functions okay so in this tutorial i'll give you an intro to functions so decorators is, is all about uh throwing functions all over the place uh, returning functions uh, passing functions into uh, as arguments and other stuff like that so it's very important that we understand what functions are in python before we get to uh, our actual main objective of this series, tutorial series which is to cover what decorators are so i have created a simple uh, i have a simple code snippet here that explains to you uh, the basics of functions uh, in python so one thing you need to know functions are, are first class objects in python what it means is that the first thing functions behave like any other python objects means that they can be passed they can be passed to variables they can be referenced so you can see here i'm actually passing this function dance i'm passing it to this variable boogie so if i i call boogie down here uh, let me just call it here so i'll call boogie okay so I'll call this function let me just comment this out for now so whenever i call boogie what do you think the output would be uh the output will be uh we didn't get actually get any output because we need to print this out on the screen so let's print it out so let's run this again the output is going to be 
dancing the reason why is that we have passed uh, our variable our function dance into this variable so this variable at uh, this uh, uh, the boogie function now is, is referring to the memory place address containing uh, that function okay so another uh, point to take from here is that functions can be uh, referenced okay so whenever i print the id of these two functions let me just comment this out whenever i print the, the id of those two functions you can find that uh, the id of the memory address of boogie and dance are the same because uh, a boogie is simply just referring to the memory place holding the function dance okay so when i run this we can see we have the same memory address for the same value so this is what uh, it, i mean by functions can be uh, reference okay so this is something that you need to understand before we move on to to our decorators okay so uh, let's move on to functions can be returned from uh, other functions so just like any and we can pass variables and return variables from functions uh, from functions also functions can be passed to other functions and can be returned from other functions okay so i have a function here named just func and i'm going to um it, it, what it does is that it returns to me it has an inner function okay so functions can also uh, we also have nested functions okay so if we can have functions instead of another function okay and we can return also functions from other functions okay these are the points that you need to take in order to understand what decorators are so we, we have a function name, named as func it has an inner function named as wrapper and it, it only it only prints functions can be nested and returned okay so i'm I'm calling my function uh, func which returns to me uh, a function wrapper and I accept that function wrapper and I'm simply going to call that okay so if I run this I get uh, functions can be nested and returned okay I hope that is understood this is very fundamental that you understand this okay so you can also call that um, you can also do that same thing just by doing like this okay if you're familiar with python this also gives us the same uh, output so now that you have done that let's go back to the last point of this tutorial uh, functions can be passed as arguments okay actually here i actually made a mistake uh, functions can actually just be returned and nested okay so let's actually move in here just like variables functions can be passed uh, as arguments and can be returned okay we have already covered being returned so functions can also be passed as arguments into another function so we have a function here named uh, I, I call it yell and yell simply prints yelling okay and you have another function uh, named as func underscore main it takes in a function and simply uh, calls that function okay so in here i have, um, I have called that function uh, func main and i've passed in yell okay so yell will be brought in into this function and will simply be called so the yell will be called and you simply print a uh, uh, yelling on the screen okay so if you pre write this we get yelling on the screen so these are the things that you're supposed to understand before we actually go to decorators so guys this is all i want to talk about in this tutorial i hope uh, you now have a grasp uh, a strong grasp of uh, the what i mean by functions are uh, first class objects if you want uh, me to create a series on uh, functions uh, there is a lot you can cover just leave a comment in the comment section below i will do my best uh, to make a tutorial on that but for now this is what i want us to cover to understand uh, decorators in python so make sure you understand this so in the next tutorial we'll be going over uh, the basics of decorators uh, and actually get to work with decorators this tutorial i just want you to understand functions because decorate working with the decorators is all about throwing functions around and uh, knowing what function really can do okay so guys thanks for watching please don't forget to like to share and to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this